how aligned are you with your executive leadership team? If you're not aligned together, you know it. You probably feel it. You probably feel a sense of distrust or if it, a communication breakdown. You probably feel like it could be better. The answer is it probably could. Most leadership teams are not optimally run. I've done a lot of research around this with my clients and with people that are potential clients and whatnot, and 80% or so are out of alignment to the degree at which they need to address it, but the reality is most of them aren't. So if you're listening to this and you have an executive leadership alignment issue, then all you need to do is think about what's really going on. Welcome to Grow Think Tank. This is the one and only place where you will get insight from the founders and the CEOs of the fastest growing privately held companies. I am the host. My name is Gene Hammett. I help leaders and their teams navigate the defining moments of their growth. Are you ready to grow? Today, we're gonna to talk about C-suite alignment. C-suite alignment is something that a lot of people take for granted. I've been an executive coach for uh, about 12 years, ever since 2012. It's my core business. It's the only way I really make money other than speeches. And you know, we make a little bit of money on books. I wrote the book with my wife. I'm the co-author of How to Have Tough Conversations. So just to give you a context around this, a lot of executive teams are not having the tough conversations they need to have. All that aside, today we want to talk about what is leadership alignment with the C-suite. I was doing some research on this and I saw that Companies with more aligned teams are 2.3% more likely to achieve financial performance. And that's based on uh, from McKinsey and Company. That's the source. So think about that. When you're more aligned together, you trust each other, you're collaborating, you're having those difficult conversations, and you are working together to solve the problems that need to be solved, and you solve them you're going to be 2.3 times more likely to have the financial performance that you're seeking. Another stat behind this is organizations with effective leadership alignment are 58% higher likelihood to navigate a major change or initiative. So if you don't have uh, the alignment you need, it's going to be more difficult to, to navigate that change. That's from the Gartner Group. And so when I give you these stats, I just want you to really center on this and think about yourself. How aligned are you with your executive leadership team. If you're not aligned together, you know it. You probably feel it. You probably feel a sense of distrust or if it, a communication breakdown. You probably feel like it could be better. The answer is it probably could. Most leadership teams are not optimally run. I've done a lot of research around this with my clients and with people that are potential clients and whatnot. And 80% or so are out of alignment to the degree at which they need to address it but the reality is most of them aren't. So if you're listening to this and you have an executive leadership alignment issue, then all you need to do is think about what's really going on. You can buy the book, How to Have Tough Conversations. There's a question in there. What's the missing conversation that hasn't happened yet? And it could be with an individual on the C-suite team. It could be across the team. If you feel like trust is broken down you know, across many people, then you wanna do this at both levels, individually and as a team. I know it's harder as a team, but let's just be blunt about this. If you cannot have real conversations about the challenges that you're facing as an executive leadership team, who else can you have those conversations with? Now, maybe you can have them with a coach if you have a coach. Most people don't have coaches, but you could have them with a coach because they're a third-party objective and get clear about how to move forward, but you're going to end up having the conversations. But if you can't trust the people around you, these executive team members that you've invited on this mission with you, it's a real problem. And so I, I want to say this clearly with you as you're listening into this podcast or watching this video, that you as the CEO of the company are responsible to get leadership alignment. And you are going to do that by having real conversations with people. You're going to call out the, the, the bullshit, if you will. They're going to call out the places where we're out of alignment in the most kind, polite, empathetic way possible. That's the first move. If you can't get it by being kind and empathetic, then you're going to be a little bit stronger, more direct until it gets to the point where if they're not leaning in to grow with you, then you've either got to coach them up or coach them out. Now, this isn't just for CEOs. If you're the CFO or the CRO or the COO on an executive leadership team and you're listening to this and things are out of alignment and you may think it's up to the CEO to fix that, I will urge you that your job is to have the tough conversations with those that are out of alignment. It could be the CEO. It could be someone else. Don't pass the buck. You're a leader 
And if you're a leader, you're willing to have the tough conversations. You're willing to have the difficult discussions. You're willing to, to rebuild trust. And that's what executive leadership alignment is meant to do is, is to rebuild trust first. And then we figure out how to work together, make better commitments, speak in a way that can't be misunderstood. All of these are kind of playing through my mind from previous coaching conversations. I share it with you because I want you to have all the tools you need to move forward as a leader. My job is to help you do that. Uh, if there's anything that I can do to help you, to, to fill in some gaps, have a conversation with you, reach out to me, gene at genehammett.com. That's my email address. Happy to uh, uh, dialogue back with you. Maybe I have some resources I can give you. If you want to jump on a call, I'm happy to do that too. If you're listening to this and you hear this, this is a genuine um, invitation, if you will. Just go to coelevation.com and let's chat about what's going on in your business. I want to help you move forward. Buy a copy of the book. Get the help you need. Get a coach if it's not me. It could be someone else. But don't let the thing, these things fester. Don't ignore them. They don't get better on their own. And executive leadership team alignment or C-suite alignment is a very important aspect to company success and performance, especially if you're navigating change like most of the companies today with AI and the economy being where it is and the uncertainty. We've got to navigate change and executive leadership team alignment is such a critical element to that. When you think of growth and you think of leadership, think of Growth Think Tank. As always, leave your courage. We'll see you next time.